Diamond. You're just in time for the shitty fan fiction. Isn't that exciting? that this is your first thing that you're dealing with. So uh, as one of our uh, redemption, Channel Point Redemptions, we read shitty Harry Potter fan fiction. I did not write it. It's a very well-known one. Uh, if you're interested, uh, here, I will post the link. Stop fighting! The cats are fighting because they're little right. douchebags. All right, so there's the link if you want to read shitty Harry Potter fan fiction. Sorry, who was fighting? I don't fucking know. I'm busy. I could just hear them be like, meow, 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 making cat noises. Also, I can't see, so I have to sit. So, uh, Biddy's collar has had it. Oh, did it break? Yeah. Let me see. Like, it's... Why do you only have one sock on? Oh, because I was checking my toe. <laughs> because it fucking got jammed on the brake pedal because I was getting fucking pissed off. Well play. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's fine. Oh, uh, well, like. It's fine! Just kidding. Look at this. Look at this ratty ass caller. She needs a new all, one. Uh, she's in the window, so I don't know if she joined in for a sec. Look at this she, garbage. Like, she wasn't doing anything. I don't fucking know. I'm... I did see Baby and Peppy playing, so Peppy's fucking fine. But they're fine. It's. They, they play. So I have a two year old cat and a six month old cat and an 11 year old cat. And the two-year-old and the six-month-old want to play with the 11-year-old, and she doesn't play. She's old. She's had it. She's tired of their shit. Um, the two-year-old and the six-month-old will play together, and the six-month-old tries to play too hard because he's little and, like, doesn't realizing that he's playing way too hard. So sometimes they have, like, little scuffle fights. Yeah, but her collar is, like, fuck, she needs a new one. Her bow is broken. Oh, my God. Travesty. All right, so anyway, if you're new, hi, hello. We read shitty Harry Potter fan fiction. I have to sit close to the computer because I can't see. I'm supposed to get glasses tomorrow, so hooray. I'll be able to actually, like, read shit. Um, but, yeah. Um, I have to figure out where we are because I think this got like fucked up oh, God, shit. okay yeah we read this my stuff got like messed up for a minute so I'm trying to figure out exactly where we are oh it's treasures oh, professor Smith was behind them all right um Okay, I found it where we are. All right, chapter 27, Vampires Will Never Hurt You. Oh, also, I read these phonetically and everything is spelled wrong and it's fucking awful. So there's the link if you want to actually like read these. But anyway, here we go. Author's note, you know what? I don't give a fuck what you preps think about me. So stop flaming the fucking story, bitches. Thanks to Raven for your love and sport and help. I love you, girl. Saws, I couldn't update. Lols, I was really depressed and I slit my wrists and had to go to the hospital. Raven, you rock, girl. XXXXX666. XXX. Everyone in the room started to cry happily. I had saved them. Draco, Lucian, Sirius, Bond, Vampire all came to hug me. The nurse started to give them medicine. Come on, Anobi, said Professor Sinatra. He was wearing a, glass, a gothic black leather dress with a corset top and real vampire blood on it and a fucking black platinum boots. I have to tell you the fucking perdition. I looked at Lucian, Seraph's Drake and vampire and they nodded i smelled happily and went into a dark room i had changed professor sinister took out some black cards she started to look into a black crucible ball she said tara i see dark times are near she said badly she peered into the balls you see you must go back in time she took out a time toner like bloody mary had then when voldemint was in hogwarts before he became powerful he got his heart broken. 
Now, do you think he will still become Volsamort if he's in love? I shook my head. You must go back in time and seduce him. It is the only way. Actually, I think we read this part. I remember her... I remember her going back in time already because she was like, oh, yeah, we love that. My shit got fucked up, and it didn't save, like, what thing we were on. Um, Draco's MCR shirt. What capacity is it? Uh, okay, we definitely didn't read that. Okay, I think this is where we are. I don't remember. Oh, I'm an idiot. I can just look. Hold on. What's the fucking... French Corner 17. Okay. Hold on. Let me watch my own video for a minute. Hi. Hello? Oh my fucking god. Oh my god! P.S. I'm in the... Okay. I said shut... Let's read. Chapter... 33 okay chapter 33 is the last one we read oh we're like way past this okay so we would have read chapter 33 and 34 so we're starting at chapter 35 because I always read two sorry I apologize <laughs> everything starts to sound the fucking same in this because it makes a fucking sense all right, what chapter did I just say we were reading? 30, 30, 36? Okay. Chapter 36. We're actually starting now. All right, author's note. I said stop flamming, okay? I bet you are all probably cerevity year olds. P.S. Portis is your prep. One, oh yeah, and thanks to Raven for D help. Have fun in England, girl. X, 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 X. I looked around in a depressed way. Something I saw Professor Sinister, Bloody Mary, Socrates, and Draco and Vampire and Willow were there too. Oh my fucking god, Sorius, I saw you and Samaro and Snip and everyone. I can't believe Snap used to be gothic. Yeah, I know, Sirius said sadly. Oh, hey there, bitch, Professor Trevally said in an emo voice drinking some Volksamort serum. Hi, fucker, I said. Listen, Satan asked me out to a gothic cornet and a movie, so I need a sucksaw new outfit for a the date. Also, I'm playing in a gothic band, so I need an outfit for that, too. Oh, my Satan. Get it, lols, because she gothic gassed Bloody Mary. Want to go to Hot Topic to shop for your outfit? Oh, my fucking God. Let's have a group nutting session, said Professor Trevally. I can't fucking wait for that, but we need to get some stuff first, said Willow. Yeah, we need some potions for Professor Trafali so she won't be addicted to Volsamort serum anymore. And also some love potion for Anobi, Draco said resultantly. Well, we have potions class now, Willow said. Let's go. We went sexily to potions class, but Snop wasn't there. Instead, there was Cornelio. Fuck! Exclamation points. Hey, oh, where the fuck is Dumbledore? Draco shouted angrily. Shut the fuck up, shouted Cornelia. Fuck, he is in Azkaban now with Snip and Lupin. He is old and weak. He has cancer. Now you do your work. My friends and I talked angrily. Can you believe Snap used to be gothic? A vampire said surprisedly. Oh, that's it, Cornelio Fook shouted angrily. I'm getting Professor Bridge, he stomped out angrily. Uh, me friends and I began talking again. I began to drink some blood mixed with beer. Suddenly, I saw Hagrid in the cupboard. What the fuck is he doing? I asked. Then I looked at Draco. He was wearing tons of eyeliner, and he looked sexier than ever. Suddenly, Hagrid, what the fuck are you doing? He shouted. I looked around. Hag Hagrid was putting something in my glass of blood. Draco and Vampire started to beat him sexily. God, you're such a poser. I shooted at Hagrid. Suddenly, I looked at what he was putting into blood. It was amnesia potion. Oh my God. What? Oh, that's fucking weird. Oh. All right, chapter 37. On this note. Okay, everybody, I'm going on vocation on the 1st of July. So I'm adhering gonna end the fic or update it in a week. Fangs. Oh yeah, and prep. Stop flamming the story. Fangs to Raven for to help see a girl after vacation. XXX666XXX. All right, apparently this whole chapter is written from Draco's point of view and it literally says lol. 
All right. Vampire and I chained a hair grid to the floor. Oh, my fucking Satan, Anobi said. She was so hot. Maybe I could use Amnesia Potion to make Satan fall in love with me faster. But you are so sexy and wonderful. Anyway, ta-ta, said Vampire. What did you need? To make everything go faster, lol, said Anobi. But you won't have to do it with him or anything, will you? I asked jealously. Oh my fucking god, you guys are so scary, said Brittany, a fucking prep. Shut the fuck up, said Willow. Okay, well, anyway, let's go to Professor Trevally's room. Draco, Abori, and I went to Professor Siniatier's room, but Professor Sinister wasn't there. Instead, Tom Brid was. Oh, hi, fuckers, he said. Listen, I got some cool new clothes. I took out the clothes from the bag. It was a gothic black leather miniskirt that said 666 on the back. Black Stilton boots blood red fishnets and a black corset oh my fucking fangs i said hugging him in a gothic way i took the clothes into bag okay professor sinister isn't her what the fuck should we do asked draco suddenly as he looked at a sign on the black wall oh my fucking satan i screamed as i read it on it said everyone professor sinister is away she is too gothic she is in azkaban now classes shall be taught by dumbledork who is back but he shall not be principal for now sincerely professor rumbridge <gasps> oh my fucking god i shouted angrily how could they do that suddenly dumbledore e came what the hell are you doing in my office he began to shoot angrily suddenly i saw morty mcfly's black tim machine I jumped seductively into it, leaving Draco and Vampire. Suddenly, I was back in time. I looked around. It was Professor Slutborn's face. Wait, I thought they, she just said that this whole thing was written in Draco's point of view, but now it's just being written as Ebony again. I sneaked around. Suddenly, I saw the amnesia potion on his desk. It was black with blood red pentagrams in it. It was the shape of a cross. I put it in my pocket. Suddenly, the door opened. It was Professor Slutgorn. Oh my god, what are you doing, fucker? He shouted angrily. I don't know who the fuck are you doing, I shouted angrily. Oh, sorry, I was just looking around because I thought I was at class. You said, finally hoping he couldn't see the potion in your pocket. Okay, you can go now, said Professor Slutborn. Uh, you went to the common room after putting on my clothes. Silas, Samaro, and Snap were there, practicing vampires will never hurt you by MCR. Oh, hi, you guys, I said seductively. Where's Satan? Oh, he's coming, said Sirius. By the way, you can call me Hades now. Suddenly, Satan came. He was wearing a smexy black leather jackson, black Congress shoes, a Slipknot t-shirt, and a black tie. Okay, I will see you guys at the concert, I said. Then I went with Satan. The end! Wasn't that so exciting? Oh my god. A Harry Potter fanfiction is the best thing that's ever existed. Okay, the end. Oh my god, wasn't that great? Uh, I did. I, I read uh, chapter... We read chapter 36 and 37. I'm not worried about that we missed chapter 35. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna fucking matter. Anyway, 